hardware and how to do the hardware connection by using our BTS battery testing system. As you can see here, we have three different kind of polymer clamps. The first one is designed for the poach cell testing. And second one, this one is for the coin cell. And here we also have the uh, clamps for the supercapacitors. But uh, we also have another one is the customized supercapacitor testing clamp. Except from the polymer clamps, we also have here the alligator clients and this one banana connector and here we also have the customized clients uh, because every different customer they are testing different batteries but in order to satisfy all the needs so we have the customized clients. Apart from clients we also have other accessories. Here we have the power keyboard. As you can see our power keyboard can be customized. For example like this one uh, it has the five different power head. Uh, it depends on the quantity of the equipment you order. And here we also have the internet keyboard and a series port. It will help you to connect your tester with our middle machine and the computer as well. Here we have our, our universal holders. It's designed for the ceiling Draco battery test. So as you can see, we already connect some 18650 batteries on it. And there are some something I have to mention. So all our clients were using the Kelvin connection. As you can see, here we have four different cables. Two for voltage, two for current. And the bright colors is for the positive and the dark color is for the negative. At the meantime, when you connect the battery with the universal holders, make sure all the probes are perfectly connected. Today we are using our BTS 4000 5 voltage 6 amps and BTS 4000 5 voltage 10 million amps as our samples. And also we have our mid machine here. For for our mid machine, uh, we recommend you guys to connect maximum 10 different testers because it is an ideal case. We are going to connect three different equipment together. First of all, we're going to use the power cable to connect our mid machine. 5 voltage, six, uh, 10 milliamps here. And 5 voltage, 6 amps. Then we're going to use the internet cable to connect our mid machine through the TCP slash IP port with the computer. Third step, we're gonna use a series keyboard to connect three different equipments together. First of all, connect our mid machine with a five voltage 10 milliamps. Then use another keyboard to connect 5 voltage 10 milliamps with 6 voltage 6 amps. So in this case, our mid machine can control both 10 milliamps tester and 5 voltage 6 amps.